to my channel it is stephanie of geeky planning back at it again for another video in today's video i will be showing you how oh i have like a hair that does not want to leave my hands <laughs> but i will be showing you guys how i print cut and use my b6 note pages um as per usual all the information of like what i use in terms of supplies so, like printer ink paper all that stuff will be listed in the description box down below along with a link to my shop if you wanted <laughs> to use that guy as well um I don't remember what else I was supposed to say in the center part, but all that stuff will be in the description box down below. And this will be in two parts, so it will be like a screen recording version of me explaining how to actually print the inserts, and then a like live action me, current me, um, filming the like how I cut and examples of how to use, which I don't really think that this one needs that many examples just because like it's literally just paper, it'll mostly be just like a how to cut and use them kind of thing. How to, how to cut them kind of thing um so that's what we will be doing today so let's go ahead and get off to screen recording stephanie to show you guys how to for the little middle section of this tutorial hi hello how are you so again for today's video i'll be showing you how to print and cut the b6 notes pages um that are offered on my etsy shop again all the all of the links will be in the description box down below so the first thing that i did want to mention is that as per usual with all of my um like inserts that do have cut lines to be a specific size you will get this pdf explaining like all the instructions on how to open the file how to print them and how to cut them so if you didn't want to watch this video you can go ahead and just click this guy really quickly let me like change this to a continuous scroll because um i went ahead and changed it to a continuous scroll so you could see it a little bit better because in my last video i didn't do that and it just looked kind of wonky um but this is just the like regular printing instructions that are in everything um it's screenshots of what i'll be showing you today and for all of the like b6 inserts the printing instructions do come with like the week on two page type of thing on here um but honestly it's for the most part the exact same thing um and then all of the cut lines are again exactly the same because they're all sized to be for a b6 specific planner so if you wanted something to like physically look at or if you wanted something to look at while you are looking at these guys um you can go ahead and just look at the instructions themselves i would recommend not printing them just to like save yourself some ink and some paper but you can also print them if you wanted to have them on hand as well so again all those will be in the file that you download so when you purchase it it'll be um the pdf itself of what you purchased and then also for this one um the pdf of the b6 instructions will be two separate files on that specific listing this one's more so a freebie and then like you're actually only paying for the basic notes pages um so after you've looked at that if you wanted to we can go ahead and open up your b6 notes pdf from whichever downloads section file you have saved them under and so this is what the pdf will look like when you get it so you get like a blank page and then a like cover and a back page they're printed back to back to each other so page one and two go together and then page three and four to go together those are both the graph pages and then page five and six go together those are both the lined pages page seven and eight go to uh, seven and eight go together those are the two column pages and then page nine and ten go together those are the dot grid pages um and i would have also included a blank one but honestly like you could just size these however you want if you wanted to print off this page over and over again just to get the cut marks right you totally can um but i would personally see it more as a wasteful kind of a thing um just because you don't really need to print out a blank sheet of paper you know um so to print these guys out if you wanted to print out the entire set as a whole just to kind of test out which pages you would like you can go ahead and just do either like command or control p um, or go up to the file print section um, and then for this guy in the preview mark you want to make sure that it's scaled at 100 percent um, just because these are specifically sized to fit a b6 planner so um, the sizing of the sheet themselves with the cut marks will stay the same at 100 percent um, but also like the quarter inch grid dot grid all that stuff will stay the same and the margins will stay at like the half an inch size so you have enough space to punch them in whichever form you like so again you want to, to you want to do scale and 100 percent and then after that you're going to go ahead and go to layout and you want to make sure that your two-sided printing is turned on and then you want to make sure that it's two-sided short edge binding just because the seam of the paper themselves is on the short edge um, and this kind of just lets your printer know that you want them to be oriented so you can cut them all 
directly in this section. And then the next step is pretty optional, but I tend to do it on almost every insert that I print, is I go to media and quality and I go to quality best. And just because I've noticed this gives me like the least amount of streaking, this gives me the most ink on the paper itself. Um, and this also makes it so the lines aren't super jagged because I've noticed that specifically if I don't do this or if I like change it to draft, um, these lines like on the dot grid end up being a little bit more zigzaggy or just like with blank spaces in between instead of just being the straight grid line. So I would personally recommend doing that. And I would also personally recommend changing the paper type to whichever paper type matches best for your paper. For the 32 pound paper that I will have listed in the description box down below, I do change it to specialty paper mat just because like it's a pretty thin but also like very matte paper type um, and I've noticed that like this one as opposed to like any of the other um, paper types where they go um, gives like the best quality and I've noticed that it also gives the least amount of smudging because if I try to do specialty paper glossy um, there's a lot of like smudginess on the paper and as I touch it out of my printer it ends up smearing all over the place and it's not really my favorite thing in the world so I would personally change it to specialty paper format but I would say this one's the most like change it to whatever paper paper you choose to use. If you're using a thicker paper like a cardstock, I would personally recommend changing it to whatever the heaviest paper weight that you have on your print settings are. Um, for me, it would be the photo glossy paper, but for yours, it might be a little bit differently. Um, or if you're doing a little bit more of like a tracing paper type, I would do the lightweight paper. Um, but yeah, that is everything on how to print the pages themselves, um, like as a bundle as a whole. But if you did want to print just one set of pages, like let's say you really just wanted a lot of the these two column ones um, to have like whatever lists you so choose to write when you go ahead and print you'll start them off exactly the same so command p control p whichever one is for you um, and then you'd make sure that all of the settings are the same so scale to 100 the layout um, at short edge binding, the median quality at the best, and then also the two-sided is on. But the most important part is to go ahead and change this from printing all pages to printing from pages seven to page eight. Um, and you can see in this little preview section, this is what will give me the two back-to-back like two column pages and this yields four pages of B6 size. But let's say you wanted to do like the graph paper ones you would do pages three and four and then this would give you the two graph pages and again this will yield yield four pages um, just because for the b6 sizing in a specific because um you can fit or i was able to fit two b6 pages per page of U.S. letter paper. Um, having them printed double-sided gives you four pages per singular U.S. letter paper. So cutting these guys will give you four pages or two sheets of B6 sizing. And again, you can go ahead and change those to be whichever side you want them to be. And also because these are pretty universal, like they don't have necessarily a top or a bottom side, you can go ahead and print these one-sided if you did want the back of them just to be blank as like an additional sort of scratch paper. Um, because like, let's say you will use this one as your standard one punched on the right side, you can go ahead and just flip this one upside down and it would still look exactly the same and you would have two pages of them being one-sided um, if you wanted to just do like page three for both of them. And then for that one, um, let's say I wanted like oh this they would have to be multiples of four so if I wanted 10 sheets uh, or 10 pages of this um graph paper thing I would end up making it so it would be three copies of it because three times four would give me 12 which would give me 10 because the lowest one after that would be eight which is not 10 but let's say that I wanted like 10 sheets of this one and then I would go ahead and change it to five because again each one sheet of US letter gives two sheets of B6. Um, so there is a little bit of math involved in that sense. But besides that, it's pretty straightforward. And again, all the instructions will be listed on the um, printing instructions themselves. But if you do have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and like either leave a comment down below in this video, or if you wanted to leave a more like personal type question, you can go ahead and message me on Etsy for that guy or email us on the email listed in the um, PDF print file as well. Um, that is everything for how to print these files. Let's go ahead and kick it off to live action. <laughs> Stephanie for how to cut them. Alrighty. So now that we have everything printed and ready to go, let's go ahead and get into how to cut these guys. Um, so there is like the cover page, but also just like all of the notes pages themselves. And I do just have one of each for demonstration purposes. And also because like I already have ideas for each of these pages themselves. So I'm just gonna like leave out the dot grid one for the time being and show you how I would cut them with a paper trimmer. Um, on 
these pages. So I do have a like Cricut paper trimmer. You don't need a specific kind. Um, use whichever one works for you, whether it be your office paper trimmer or the one that you have purchased for yourself for at home use. Um, so how I like to do this is I like to line up the, well first I like to make sure that my pages are actually nice and straight. And then I like to line up the um, like seam parts um, with the bevels and the paper cutter so there's like a line at the top and then a line at the bottom so I like to align the printed lines on there close this guy and then cut it and then I'll like put this guy to the side for the time being and then I'll do the exact same thing on the other side so it's the same thing for the top part and just making sure that all of these seams are aligned and then cutting them And then the same thing for the like inside e seam and then it's still like on there so each of the cut marks is like a hatch marked X so no matter which side you choose to cut first you will still have two lines to be able to guide either your paper trimmer or your ruler um, and then now I have the last one which again like you can see even though all three sides are taken off you do still have the little hatch marks and then once it's cut they're not like big enough that you can really even see them um but they are definitely still there um so you can go ahead and cut them up like that and really the only like important part i would say is making sure that your paper is actually straight because if it's not straight you're going to end up cutting them on a curve and you still have like your little or i guess it's not a good page so but you do have like your seam allowance e sections for whatever um what's it called what's the word like hole punch that you choose to use so i'm just gonna like cut this one in a different order so you can see that like it really doesn't matter which order you cut your inserts in they'll still be perfect every time anyways um so there was that piece and this one oh i totally just like use my finger to move the inserts when i did not mean to So then you have your perfect little pieces of, oh, I totally just did that on the wrong one. Okay, there we go. So yeah, now we have all of the papers with the seams on the same side, on the inner side for all of those guys. And then if you did not have a paper trimmer, um, I'm just going to use the dot grid one to show you. Hopefully this works better than when I tried to show you in my like half letter situation. Um, you can totally just take like a ruler and a paper cutter and put them like oh, line up the seams in that direction and just kind of cut like that and then oh, I'm totally just cutting from my ruler and not my paper but that's fine go ahead and just cut it like that or if that's not your cup of tea again because there are still the enzymes I would also just recommend if you were to cut them like that do not get a wood ruler get like an acrylic or a metal ruler so that way you don't end up shredding a bunch of little wood flakies in your surrounding environment because it's like a health hazard um so I'm just gonna go ahead and take these guys off to the side it would also work a heck of a lot better if you had like a flat environment this is ridged with like grid on it i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it does have grid on it um so it is not as flat of a surface as i would have liked but you can also just take like just straight up scissors and because there is the seam on like the top and the bottom you can line them up like pretty okay this is a little bit more of like a time consuming way to do it but also like oh if you have the coffee shakings don't recommend this one um but like yeah this is a little bit more of like a time consuming way but also if it works for you it works for you like i'm not here to be like no you can't do it like that like do whatever floats your boat whatever works for you and whatever makes the most sense for your economic situation like if you don't if you can't 
justify buying like a paper cutter I would recommend just don't buy a paper cutter honestly if I had to recommend between a paper cutter and a like hole puncher specifically an adjustable hole puncher I would personally 10 out of 10 recommend the adjustable hole puncher because I feel like cutting things by hand is not as much of like a nuisance as having to hole punch things by hand and especially like if you have an exacto knife it's so much easier to cut things by hand if you have an exacto knife and a nice ruler it is so much easier to cut things by hand than it is to like try to hole punch things by hand and make sure that things still align if that makes any sense so i guess that's everything for how to cut them and then in terms of like hole punches i did just get both of these from Amazon I think. 10 out of 10 recommend if you are going to use Amazon use smile.amazon.com and use um an or er, and click on an organization that means the most to you and your personality um but yeah so this is like a U.S. letter happy planner punch for like disc purposes and then this is an adjustable six hole punch situation i mean this did not come with a b6 sizing but i do have just a piece of tape to mark what b6 sizing is for me so to show you guys how i would use these guys um so i'm just going to take like the two dot grid pages and i would just line them up in the hole puncher And then you have like the perfect six ring hole punch situation to go in any sort of planner um or you can like not get a planner and literally just use binder rings and stick your stuff in there like that which is probably what i'm gonna be doing with those guys um and then for these ones i haven't actually used this punch for this yet so i'm kind of low-key like really excited to see how this works um Okay, so surprisingly, B6 papers fit like pretty well in there, and I was able to eyeball like just whatever size I needed those guys to be, so that's kind of great. Um, but yeah, that's basically just how I would print and cut and use these guys. Um, so my thought process for these guys would be like, let's say for this video since i am filming it before i print or before i film my how to print video so i'm gonna put how to print b6 notes and then just tap that guy off with a banner for that guy and for this one i am using the like dot grid version i'm just gonna put make sure to say how to only get one size, one type of paper printed because I will forget to say that because I already forgot it like 12 times right now. Uh, so yeah, there is that guy, but also for the like dot grid, I think this is really cute for like if you wanted to bullet journal specifically. Oh, I should have done this with the like disc ones. Like if you wanted to make your own bullet journal, I would personally 10 out of 10 recommend um, getting the, or getting the notes pages and then printing off a bunch of the dot grid ones and then hole punching them with the happy planner one so you can have your own disc bound bullet journal so that way it still functions as a notebook but you can take out and add pages as you see fit as you need to like remove them or whatever um but also like if you wanted to just like let's say you were redoing your room or whatever and you have like a some sort of space kind of situation this is terrible um but you can go ahead and use like the dot grids to be like okay this is where my bed is gonna go this is where my dresser is gonna go um this is where the door is kind of a thing you know so like you can reuse them like that so that's what i would personally use the dot grid for um and then the two column one i would personally use as more of like a notebook that needs things to be added onto. so like let's say you were meal prepping and you wanted to like make spaghetti um and you knew that you like you have meatballs but you need more noodles and you need more sauce more like something that requires two different head spaces for the same kind of continuous lists that's what i would use the like 
and half two column one and then the regular lined one you would just use as like a regular lined sheet of paper like she's there for whatever use you need um in that sense and then this is just like the end of the like basic note pages so you can just use this as like whatever kind of scratch paper that you need and then this is my personal favorite is um the graph paper i use graph paper the most for just like generally anything like let's say you wanted to use these for like actual notes for class you can use them for notes for class you can use them for just generical daily notes so i'm just gonna put like to film because i actually need to make my to film list and then um we're gonna put my b6 week on two page b6 week on four page and then what is it future log so I don't really know where my camera cut me off, but I was just saying that like, because of the way the page is formatted, like it's printed on an eight and a half by 11 double sided. When you cut it out, you do technically end up getting four pages on two sheets of whatever, call me things, whatever you were printing out and all that fun stuff. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and again, as per usual, let me know in the comments down below either like what you wanted to see me tell you to the shop in that situation um, or if you have any recommendations on like what you would like to see me use them. Like if you want to see me at DIY a bullet journal with the dot grid pages, let me know in the comments down below and I totally wouldn't mind doing it because it is something that I've been wanting to do for a while anyway so like wouldn't be that much of a difference. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will... Um, uh, <laughs> I totally forgot to do the outro, but as per usual, let's just pause, take a bit of a breather, take a bit of a chill pill, and deep breath in, deep breath out, and repeat after me. I am loyal. Be loyal to yourself, and like, I feel like I always say just be the most authentic version of yourself that you can possibly be. Be yourself unapologetically, and you will find the same people that have the same interests as you do anyways um and just like the most important person in your life should be you and self-care isn't selfish and just take time for yourself whenever you need to say no whenever you need to and set boundaries whenever you need to and at the end of the day just do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparking human being and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys